clean the ultrasound machine with me after work. In the case of the iScan 3, it is not waterproof or water resistant, so we need to be careful with a few components. The vents sometimes get some dirt inside. Another element that is not waterproof is the connection between the probe and the ultrasound device. I usually cover it with the flap or we leave the probe attached to the machine and clean them together. Let us start by cleaning the device itself. I use a foaming cleaning liquid. Leave the foam on for a moment so the dirt softens and then wipe it off with a cloth. If the device is not very dirty, I just use a regular glass cleaner. The parts that are not the screen can be cleaned with a sponge, while the screen should always be wiped with paper. For the sides, we usually clean them with a sponge, first then wipe with a dry cloth. For the back, it is best to wet the sponge well and scrub being careful around the vent, so no liquid gets inside. The vents can be blown out with a compressor or canned air. The probe socket should also be blown out with compressed air from time to time. Once the ultrasound device is cleaned, it should be disinfected. After about a minute, wipe off any excess disinfectant. The strap goes into the washing machine and then we are left with two more components, the probe and the battery, cleaning the battery. It is not waterproof. The charging port and the connector to the ultrasound machine must not get wet. I usually cover them with my finger. I use cleaning liquid and a sponge to remove dirt, then wipe with a dry towel and disinfect the battery. Now let us clean the probe. The connector that attaches to the ultrasound machine is not waterproof, so that is the part we need to be most careful with. The part that is waterproof is best washed under lukewarm water. Then we dry the probe and also clean the non-waterproof section. I always disinfect the probe twice and wipe it with a dry towel. And that is it. Clean equipment ready to go with me to the next farm or to be sent for servicing.